Today, we're going to talk about paid editing and in a way that you probably haven't heard before. Now, I hope this, this uh, discussion I'm going to have with you, this uh, example I'm going to give to you is shared with people you know who have Wikipedia articles with their name at the top. Now, keep in mind that just because your name is at the top of the article, you do not own that article. You do not get to choose what goes on that article. And it is extremely frustrating to see things on it that are inaccurate, misspellings, outdated photos, or you know you no longer work at that place anymore, or legitimate reasons that you'd like to change the Wikipedia article. I mean, I totally get it. It's very frustrating. But what ends up happening is that sometimes people in their frustration either try to fix it themselves and get dinged because you have a conflict of interest and probably should not be fixing a Wikipedia article that has your name at the top. I'm going to say your Wikipedia article, even though it isn't your Wikipedia article, it's just got your name at the top, but it's about you. So I've had this happen to many people. I'm not going to name any names, but I've had people come to me and say in frustration and in, and sometimes in tears that they have been fallen into a blackmail kind of situation. And here's, here's the scenario that they Google, you know, somebody changed my Wikipedia article. I need to add something to the Wikipedia article. And like I say, it could be something completely legitimate. They're changing a photograph or they're adding their website or they're taking out things that should be past tense you know, changing it from present tense to past tense. A lot of times, very legitimate stuff. They find somebody on one of these Google searches. You know, there's tons of them out there. And they pay somebody maybe 20 bucks just to add a a line on the Wikipedia article. Okay, seems like it'd be legit. No big deal, right? Well, what happens in a lot of these cases is that now that somebody out there knows that you are vested, invested in this article, this Wikipedia article, and they have your contact information, what they do is their friend, their friend, or it might be them with a different account, will go in and remove that or do more um, devious kinds of things to the Wikipedia article. Like they put it up for deletion or they put flags on the top of it saying, you know, this page is not notable or it should be reviewed or, you know, it just makes it look really ugly and they revert edits or whatever. And what happens is either you contact that first person again, or the first person contacts you, the person you paid the $20 to will contact you and say, Hey, I see there was these changes on your Wikipedia article and it looks like it's going to need a lot more extensive work. Now I can do that for you, but it's going to be a lot more expensive. Okay, you guys see where this is going? And what ends up happening is you're in your frustration, you've made it worse, right? It's a lost cost fallacy where you've already put money into it. So then you end up putting more money into it to try to get yourself out of the situation. And it becomes kind of like a black situation where I'm in a, I'm holding your Wikipedia article that I know that you care a lot about because of your reputation or whatever reason. And I'm going to make these changes to it Maybe I won't say that it's me, but I'm going to do this and hold it for more and more money. And as I've said, people have come to me and said, what do I do? I'm totally frustrated. You know, I feel like I'm being blackmailed. And it is in, in a form of kind of a blackmail. We've had to deal with it. It is a known thing on Wikipedia and other Wikipedia editors have had to deal with it too. So the easiest thing to do is do not ever pay someone to edit your Wikipedia article or about your organization, about yourself, nothing. Don't do it. A legitimate Wikipedia editor is not going to charge money. We can't, we can't take money for an edit. It's just, just that simple. Nobody on my team is paid. So I had a very good friend of mine who just sent me a screenshot that they received in their email. Now I've removed the person's name. And the, the Wikipedia article that has that person's name on it has some flags on it. In other words, there's some things that need to be changed and fixed on the Wikipedia article. And it'll probably remain that way for a very long time because 
this is a good friend of mine and I'm not going to change my very good friend's Wikipedia article. Sorry. Um, it's just, that's how it works. Conflict of interest. Maybe it'll change someday. But this is the first time I've seen the scam done where they reach out to people on Wikipedia who have their email or, or some way of contact, a contact email on the Wikipedia article and say, hey, I see you have, there's these flaws on your Wikipedia article and I can take care of it for you. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this email. I've blocked out the person's name. It's not relevant to this discussion, obviously, but it looks legitimate. And this is the first time, like I said, I've seen it happen where they reach out to you, the target of the Wikipedia article, and not you buying a, um, you know, having something done to it. Now, here's what it looks like. And somebody on my my team was saying that they thought it looked like it might have been written by ChatGPT. And it's possible because some, some of these scam letters, some of the scam stuff are written in such broken English that it's obvious the person doesn't know what they're doing. Um, and maybe this person over with experience has is using more grammatical you know, sentences and, 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 you know, Wikipedia editor, editor, you would think would know what they're doing. So this is a person is approached cold and they, their name is Gabriel Mar Marin, the wiki crafter, who's a Wikipedia consultant. Okay. There's no such thing as a Wikipedia consultant. There's the wiki crafter. I don't know what this is, but this is not legit. So it, it seems like it's personalized because it has, you know, the person's name and then it has a Wikipedia article that they're referencing. And it also has the date that has the Wikipedia article at the top. And so what it says is that your page has been flagged. Now, remember, this is not the person's page. They do not own this page. This is a target of it is a wikipedia article that happens to have the name of the person on it but it is not their page so you got to get that out of your head you do not own your wikipedia article because it's just got your name on it yes it influences your future gigs and your future ability to make money and your reputation but it is not yours if you want to get something that is yours open up your own website okay so it's been flagged with these issues okay well it has so this is the flag. This article contains content that's written like an advertisement. Please help improvement. This is the flag that goes on the top of the Wikipedia articles as other editors see that the, the article needs some help. So I propose the following steps. Now, looking this over, it seems legit. So removing promotional content. I will carefully review the article to identify and eliminate any content that appears promotional or advertising. And then eliminating inappropriate external links. I will review and remove any external links that do not adhere to Wikipedia's guidelines, okay? Adding encyclopedia content, ensuring neutral point of view. So this is almost just, somebody just copied and pasted this. And every time they see this flag on a Wikipedia article, they put all this down here as if they're gonna do it. Well, if it was just that simple, we would do it. You know, GSOW or somebody else on Wikipedia probably would have done it in a couple of minutes. But no, this takes time. It takes time to go and really evaluate the sources and to make sure you've cleaned it all out and make sure that you've removed all the neutral scents. And then sometimes there's the discussion on the talk page that's, that is um, saying, this is, you know, here's what we did. Here's what I think. You know, did I remove enough promotional content? You know, can we be more neutral? Those are discussions that happen on the on the talk page. So please let me know if you're interested. I'll ensure a smooth process. Oh, I bet they will. <laughs> no, no mention about the price. And as I say, they're probably judging to see from the conversation you have with them how much money they can elicit from you. So, so I don't know where these people are, but they're probably, um, you know, a very small amount of money would probably go probably go very far for 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 their actions, and it's a scam. So, um, what should you do if there is a uh, inaccuracies on your on the wikipedia page article that has your name on the top of it or your organization's name on it how should you really help how should you really take care of that because that is a very legitimate question and the answer is it depends so if it is a like a misspelling and it really bugs you well just go in and fix it i doubt anybody's ever going to care or notice right so 
If it's a misspelling, it's a legitimate thing, just do it. If let's say you no longer work at that university or you no longer write for that newspaper or that journal and it's past tense, well, then you're going to need some sort of probably some sort of citation that says, I no longer work for this uh, university. I no longer work for this. I never, no longer publish this. Okay, just let it go. It's probably not a big big deal and something you should be fretting over. You probably shouldn't be spending a lot of time looking at your Wikipedia article anyway. It's only going to give you heartburn and stress. So it's probably a best idea just to just let it go. Okay. Um, and so if it's something like maybe somebody, you know, a spouse or somebody who has, who has died um, and you're looking at the Wikipedia article and you're going, well, this is all past tense now. And I need to, I need to have the death date in here and I need to have all this information on the Wikipedia article. Or maybe something that's a little more glaring, maybe vandalism or um, something else that really is bothering you that really does need to be changed. The best thing you can do is go to the talk page. Now, on the upper left-hand side of all Wikipedia articles is a tab that says talk. It's always been there. You've just never noticed it. It's always been there. Click on that tab and then... It, it should say at the top, and you don't need a Wikipedia account to do this. You you click on the tab and you say, and it's like uh, you would write person has died or something like that. And then in the little body of text that pops up, you would write, so I am so and so spouse, and they have they have died on this day, and I think that the Wikipedia article needs to be changed, reflect this change. Or, you know, there's some serious vandalism on here and nah, -uh, you know, and it really needs to be fixed. Or maybe it's something like the photo that I that is on this article is severely outdated. I'd really like to see a new photo uploaded and, and used. OK, those are all legitimate reasons. And you hit save and probably somebody hopefully will come over soon enough and say, oh, OK, let me check this out. So for a death, we can't just say somebody died based on something somebody wrote on a talk page on uh, Wikipedia. Now, sometimes you can use like a Facebook post or Twitter or X or Instagram post. Usually that's fine because it's um, it's up to the editors of uh, the, who's making the change. They can say, according to Facebook or according to Instagram, this is coming from the account of the daughter of so-and-so and it looks like it's legit. Let's make the change. Okay, that happens. But what we're really looking for is a citation that is something that could be print or it could be on the internet, like something from legacy.com, uh, a newspaper article, a tribute to the person in a journal or a magazine or a newspaper or something. We're looking for something that is a citation that we can say, according to this, because remember everything done on Wikipedia is supposed to be secondary. We're not supposed to be relying on primary sources for things because that can go, oh, oh, you know, make problems because somebody could claim that somebody's dead and they're not, and that would be really bad. So we want to say, according to legacy.com or you know, the new, the newspaper or whatever. So we would really like to have a citation that does take more time, but at least it's done legitimately and it's done correctly. Um, if there is vandalism of some sort, you know, a lot of the times we'll just look at it and we'll say, oh yeah, you're right. That is vandalism. Nobody caught it because somebody just didn't notice. And we'll just usually remove that. Um, that happens all the time. People approach me as if, the the vandalism on the page is something that is like keeping them up at night and you look at it and you're like yeah well i don't know why this is here this has got to go it's unsighted it's um it's harmful it's not you know sometimes it's not even grammatically correct <laughs> it's just got to go and that's that's a simple fix um if it's something like maybe you're you're no longer writing for some magazine or you're no longer um, um, working at that university, you're now retired. 
Well, if it's something that's not a big deal, you know, it's just an obvious thing because people retire and people move on to other jobs, then we might use your primary source, which would be like your website or your um, other statements or looking at the um, um, other websites of where you've moved to or someplace where you've it's stated that you retired and you're no, you're just you're not doing that anymore. So those are primary sources. We don't use a lot of primary sources, but it it's a case by case thing. And and if it's not something really egregious, and it's just like you know, well, the person is retired. They're in their eighties and they've decided to retire, and now they're no longer working for this. They're working for that. Most Wikipedia editors will probably go ahead and make the change because it's not that big a deal. Um, you can reach out to the DSOW team um, if you want to. You can reach out to me personally. Um, that's fine. I will advise. Uh, I'm. You can't pay me and you cannot pay my teams, um, but we're happy to take uh, kudos and thank yous. <laughs> and if you want to steer more people towards our project, that would be great. We would love to have more people join to make more edits. Um, but we are a team of people who have to, our work is a, is known. And so we have to be very careful and that um, that other, the edits we make are gonna hold up over time in as far as if somebody was to look at it with a critical eye um, and say, what did you just do? And why did you do that? We, we really have to be careful. So we know, especially myself, because I edit using my own real name, S. Gerbic, um, that we are held to maybe a little bit of a higher standard than a normal Wikipedia editor. So we have to be careful. So if you're going to make a claim and say, this is illegitimate on my Wikipedia article, and this is vandalism, and how dare they say this, and so on, we have to take a hard look at it and say, no, that is legitimate criticism, and it is uh, in a notable source, and we can attribute the negative comment that somebody made to the person who uh, is saying it. Um, I don't want to get too far into the weeds here because it gets really complicated, but sometimes we have to tell a person, no, that this is not vandalism. This is a neutral well, Wikipedia really isn't that neutral, so get over it. But it is, uh, we rely on secondary sources that are notable from notable people. Okay. So sometimes we have to tell them no. And that happens and we explain it. And sometimes the person says, you know, they're not happy about that, but it is what it is. And other times people do completely understand and say, oh, I get it. Okay. Okay. Um, but what about this other thing? And you're like, okay, well, let me look at that. So it's okay to contact us. It's okay to contact me. But keep in mind, um, the best the best thing you could do is probably go to the talk page and and make your your case clearly. You know, if you don't like the photo of yourself that's on the Wikipedia article, then you or if person who owns the picture, like a photographer, is going to have to upload that photo to Wikimedia Commons, releasing it. And then you would say, look, this I just had this photo session done. I really like this. I like this photo much better of myself. Could you please use this photo instead of that other photo that's 10, 15 years out of date? And the Wikipedia article um, editor who's reading that talk page most likely will say, okay, no problem. The only time they might not do that is because they feel like um, the photo that's on there best represents the reason there's a Wikipedia article. Like maybe if um, you're a rock star in the 70s and now you're um, you know older and you have a new photograph of yourself, you know, at a 70, 80 year old person, um, you would like that photo to be the main photo. Well, okay, the Wikipedia article might add that somewhere in the article, but probably the picture of you as a person in the 1970s when you were in your rock and roll garb and, you know, rock it out and there's a microphone in front of you, that will probably remain the main photograph because that photograph shows you as 
the reason why you have that Wikipedia article. I hope that makes it clear. And not a man who's 80 years old now, who's, you know, got this professional business-like photograph, you know, wearing a suit and tie. <laughs> and it might not look like you anymore, even though, yes, it is you. So it might go in the article somewhere. You can ask, um, like I said, just get a website <laughs> or become famous for this new persona you have without the without the rock and roll attire and maybe maybe you now do something else and you are you could say no i i reinvented myself now i'm doing these things maybe maybe it's a picture of you with a tool belt on and you've got your overalls on cuz you're now working for habitat for humanity or something of the sort and you'd rather have that photograph than the picture of you in the 70s okay over explaining as usual, Susan, but I hope this is clear. Never, ever, ever pay somebody to edit a Wikipedia article. Yours, your organization's, nothing. It's only going to come back and bite you in the end. Um, and if you see a problem with your Wikipedia article or your organization's article or your spouse's article or whatever, then go to the talk page contact somebody like myself or somebody on my team and say, hey, I need advice how best to handle this. We're fine with that, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and please get this to people who you know who have Wikipedia articles because this is one of those things that's usually done as a vanity kind of thing and they're embarrassed as hell when it happens and they contact somebody and then they find out that they're part of us. They get involved in a scam. It's like a romance scam or something else. It's embarrassing. They don't want to tell anybody. So the best way to deal with it is to forewarn people. Let them know ahead of time this is a scam. As I said, I've never seen somebody receive an email like this before but it's not hard to find Wikipedia articles that have flags at the top. There's a way of looking them up on Wikipedia and, and the person can just go through a form letter, form letter, form letter, form letter, and send out hundreds of these in an hour. So it's not like they specifically found your Wikipedia article. And no, there, there's ways of finding these in mass. And then you send out, you know, a thousand of them. One person responds, the person makes a few hundred dollars for an hour's work of just constantly, you know, changing the Wikipedia article and they're not going to fix the article. They might say they're going to fix the article. They're not going to fix the article, not correctly at least. All right. Like, share, comment. Appreciate it. Thanks everybody.